it's okay. I'll take care of it, okay? I'm going to take care of it. You're live with Larry King in our special report and continuing coverage on Vatican City, where details remain unclear, but officials have confirmed the theft of one of the Catholic Church's most coveted possessions. Early speculation is that the Shroud of Turin, the burial cloth of the prophet Jesus, has been taken from its safekeeping. Most experts are already pointing to Giovanna Nocera, the notorious European spy outed at the turn of the century. Others are calling it a smokescreen set up by the church itself. Corey, you heard the baby crying, didn't you? Thought that was you. Maybe because you're starving him. Where's his Yorbital? My what? The baby's Yorbital. His medicine, where is it? Oh, we're out. What do you think, my baby brother? Pump this? Now, where's his Yorbital? I told you, we're out. You're taking pills again? Put it back. Like you know. Damn it. My pills. Stop worrying about your pills. He's in there and he's shitting like a goose. We gotta get him his Yorbital, Ma. You know what you need to get? A job. Who needs a job? <laughs> Artie, please don't make me worry about you, okay? No cowboy shit, just stick to procedure. There it is, 764. Potential mark spotted entering the house, 764 Harper. Copy. Okay, switch to mobile. Mom kicked me to the curb, said not to come back without the baby's medicine. Make yourself useful and hand granddad that bottle there. A bottle of that baby medicine runs about 20 bucks. Any ideas?
All right, Grandpa. Where do you think you're going? To the space park. Come back later in the week. I'll have some cash for you then. Sometimes I don't get you. I don't understand why you have to do this right now, at this time. You know the theater only puts on three shows a year. This is the last one, and they've offered me the part. How do I say no? Do you get paid? Yes. Half rate. Half rate? Well, I mean, the rest is deferred. It's, uh, it's based on ticket sales. And the role? It's perfect. <laughs> it's the musical Planting Seeds in Cement. You remember, uh, okay. okay, it's Little Shop of Horror meets Sling Blade. It's a role of the botanist who discovers that the poisonous plants have voices. It's, it's huge. The poisonous plants, they sing. It's kind of silly, honey. How'd you end up on the curb? It started with that fateful call. That call you missed? Call I got changed my life. It was um, Tuesday night like any other when that phone rang. I knew I could trust the voice right away for no other reason except knew that my most personal secret, something I never shared with anyone. What could someone say that could convince you? She knew. I got my hair cut every 3,000 miles. What does that mean? Every time I got my car's oil changed every 3,000 miles, I got my hair cut. Oh, no. I know that look. Why does every character you play die? It's the biggest moment in the piece. Of course it is. Anytime a character dies on stage, it's big. I don't know. Oh. I don't write the plays. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Why can't you try a role that, you know, has some growth, that actually learns something, that has happy ever after? Why is it someone who's dying or killing themselves? How does he go? Let me guess. Death by poisonous plant? Well, I mean, not exactly. It's How early? The third act. Yeah. To step up. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think it's the role that's gonna launch me. Now that I'm having a child, I am not going out there and watching you die. I'm not. Okay, it's not, it's geez, it's not me, it's my character. Whatever. It's a skill and I'm good at it. So. You good at dying? You know, babe? You're sick. Okay. Right here, it's not right. Ah. I'm just saying. What is that? What's what? that thing that's attached to your left hand. It's nothing. Is that all? Uh, no. What else do you need? Uh, a bottle of Yorbital, infant Yorbital. Make it two. That's uh, forty four seventeen. Let me get you a bag.
I have got it. I really need that medicine. Have you ever bit the inside of your cheek? Delivery service? Yep, that's me. You uh, schedule a delivery? Yes. You have room on this? <laughs> of course I do. The package is very delicate. Well, we're not my friend. I guaranteed safe arrival. Oh, uh, cash only. How much? Cross town. Fresh delivery. Harished? There is only one rush. Well, consider it done, but uh, that kind of rush is gonna put you at the top of the list and will probably run you, I say, $25. Rush delivery, okay? You got it.
My business. I don't do this kind of thing for free. Fine, whatever. Just go, 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 go. Bruce lose the hat. Wait, 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 not this way. Why? Shit. Get off. What? Trust me, quick. Wait, 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 come back. Uh, kiss me. I think they would appreciate it. I'm Alexa. You saved my ass. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was dust. Hmm. Well, I guess we will never know now, will we? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm Dom. Can you get me out of here? Or something? Or something sounds good. Come on, get on. <laughs> about who used to watch you. What's your story, dude? Ron, I'll tell you, you gotta start listening to what people don't say. It's the best way to stay focused. How about uh, uh, right up there? Where? For the drink and the something. I do have some time. I love soda. What can I get you? Uh, two Cokes. Coke? Yeah. What else? That's it. What do you mean, that's it? What? If all you want is two lousy Cokes, hit the vending machine over at the Y. Okay. Easy. Uh, just the two Cokes, okay? Look at this guy. Don't let him fool you. Every day he comes in here and eats a plate of cavatelli with three meatballs. This is a two meatball establishment. See that menu? Patron's order and get two meatballs. And if you are gonna bring the sweet lady in here and order just two cokes, then you can kiss the third meatball goodbye. What's with that one? Don't pay no attention to her. No. <laughs> Alexa, saw, saw Alexa. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Hey, those jokers out there hanging your sign, you gotta keep an eye on them. I know it. It's a cool jacket. Thanks. We get a jacket like that. You make it? Get out of here. Really? <laughs> Careful. from up here. Why are they after you? Ah, uh, stupid reasons. Uh, they must have thought I was dealing or something. Were you? No. No. Then I'm glad I helped. Yeah, but you didn't know that at the time. Could have been helping the wrong guy. Hmm. Well, who's the judge, I mean? Doing what I do, I could, uh, 
be helping the wrong guy every single day. I got a target on my back, though. I never should have climbed on with you. Don't worry about it. I'm a multitasker. I just like to see how much I can handle at once. And you seem to fit. Watch. I can listen to my music while uh, calling a friend on the phone and uh, woo! <laughs> Well, balancing on the ledge of a three-story building. And dancing. <laughs> oh, hi, Gwenny. No, I'm still in town. I got held up. Bye, Gwenny. Do. Hmm. Or what you do to me. Time changes every second and so do we. Evolution right before your very eyes. You live life. I like that. I kinda need that. my day. No, I mean, on, on the phone you told Gwen that you, you, you didn't leave town yet. Oh, that. Very perceptive. I've been saying that for weeks now. What keeps you? Every day a reason to stay finds me. Which way you headed? West. How'd you know? It's an uh, adventure you're heading on. All great adventures go west. The open road, chasing sunsets. <laughs> well, I don't know about that cowboy, but uh, <laughs> just to get out there and find that thing. What if that reason wanted to come with you? Hmm. Let me finish this first. Wait here, I'll be back here in an hour. You were gonna wait for me. I was. I, I will. All that talk about things changing every second, I thought, I got a feeling you weren't coming back. Yeah. This is uh, crazy, I mean, I, I don't even know you and this can't work. 
Let's figure out why not. Come on. Get on. Come on. West? Nope. First, the delivery. Have you ever bit the inside of your cheek? Not just bit, but accidentally chomped down on it really hard. What is this? Why are we stopping here? Open comm enabled. Ah! Son of a... Jack, is Mark established? Negative. Is ball in play? Cannot confirm. Another ghost? Don't be disappointed. As long as the day ends clean, ghosts never disappoint me. Okay, I'll be the disappointed one.
Listen, Marty, if there's a mark to bring in, we do it. Bitching that the mark may not exist is a little twisted. Unless Intel can't locate it. Yeah, sure. I need to bring one down. I want to bring one down, so send a message straight to the top. It's all within the law. The law. You got it? Whose law? They're not out there playing by our rules. If we don't play by our rules, we're the same as them. Okay, ease off the mobility juice. <sighs> I gotta be honest, your, your angle is way off on this. Way off. Write it up, Pub Scout. And don't forget to cash your check when innocent kids die. Come again? What's that? You want to talk about noble ground? You would sell your nobility for a week's wage at any given moment. <laughs> Mark located. Info received. Apprehend Mark. Await further instruction. Marty, please don't make me worry about you, okay? No cowboy shit, just stick to procedure. There it is, 764. Potential mark spotted entering the house, 764 Harbor. Copy. Okay, switch to mobile. Church should take some responsibility here. That would be a first. Larry, it's implausible to think that someone could infiltrate the Vatican security. But we're not just talking about someone here. Giovanna's network is known to reach well beyond Europe. Network, Larry? I thought this was a spy we were talking about. Sounds like you're ready to call her a terrorist. You said that, not me. Yes, on yes, your knees, yes, hands behind yes, your head. Yes, yes. Please up, don't up. Come on, come yes, on. Yes. We're going in the house. Let's go. Stay put. Okay. Come on, come on. Get We're taking the mark in the nest. Italy. Oh, Sing that medicine. Okay. Innocent men don't run. Hey, innocent men look like me sometimes must run. Oh, look. It's a lot of cash. A lot of cash for an innocent man in a neighborhood like this. I earned it hard work. I know my rights. What is your word? Marty, look, just why don't you take the back rooms? I'll deal with him. Mark two within perimeter. Exact location unknown. Copy, copy. Uh, no materials located on Mark one. Search complete. Negative. Marty, back room. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. We don't have time for this. We need to call in the back. Listen, get the fuck over here. Listen, listen, listen. Take it easy. Take it easy. You are way out of line. You, you jumped him out of the gate. We don't have time. 
Until this goes code zero, we got nothing but time. I am not calling the bag. <laughs> I've never called the bag. I'm not starting today. I am not going to be the one responsible when these aliens set a bomb off on my soil. Who said anything about a fucking bomb? This isn't even a code zero. It's standard procedure. Wake up. Look around. This thing could be a code zero in a matter of minutes, and if we're not prepared, I'm calling in the bag. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. This is not a fucking code zero, all right? Our job is to clear the nest and extract whatever information we can from the mark. Just go and clear the fucking nest. Have a seat. Look, I'm not gonna touch you. She's not gonna touch you again, okay? You may just be innocent. Contrary to what's already happened, we're not here to judge you either way. We have information that links you to a chain that may be transporting illegal materials. I don't do this. Listen to me, all right? Hey, listen to my words and find out exactly what you know. Razor. Fire, cloud, master, wreck. Master. Eventually. Your way of life. Everything you stand for. Your work. Your belief. It will all crumble and die. How's it going to happen? Look around. It's happening. There's not much happening here. It will. When will this happen? It already has. We're just cleaning up now. What are you cleaning? Your blood. We are cleaning your blood from our world. What are you using to clean? Put a bomb into play in our soil? <laughs> Unbelievable. I've got one shot at this. What could possibly possess you to interrupt? He said bomb. I will not confirm that. He said it! He didn't say bomb. No. I will not confirm it. Now, is there anything in the back? No. Well, quit acting so goddamn patient. First sweep, nest is clean. Mark offered hints, nothing solid. Copy. Hold your position. Second mark is on the board and locked. The bag is on site. You didn't. I did. Time no see, Clyde. <coughs> so you're the sand turd that won't give these fine people the information they want? So we doing it here? There's a room in the back. What? 
You don't want to see the action? TikTok. <laughs> yeah, right? Bring me in. There's no more time for any fun. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I get it. The last to get here, the reason the party's over. I'm the reason the party's over. <laughs> Sad life. Let's go. Oh. You and me. <laughs> had to be done. It's the only way. The situation was under control. When she confirms it's a bomb, you can drop your little voice. If she confirms. Jesus Christ, you're like a fucking Girl Scout on her first period. Oh, relax. Stop stealing my lines. You don't get it. What? You just don't get it. Agent, do not go there. job to interfere with her work. I'm not even curious. That's neither here nor there. Holster that peacemaker. Come and have a glance. I will do no such thing, and neither will you. Is that right? Friend here? We passed off a brown box to a messenger service. Paid cash. Sent it across town. The box was delivered to him earlier today. He has no idea what's in the box nor where it's going. He's one cog in a network that's moving it. First he knows, it's already on to another. Which way to the toilet? Call it in. The toilet? In there. Minimal information obtained from the mark. He uh, used an unknown messenger service, delivered it to an unknown location. Probably the second mark. Testing information for first mark. Remove from premises. Pursue second mark. Until we meet again. You call her in, you deal with it. Get him in here! Come on, quickly, quickly! Get up! Get up! No! Get! Can you sit all over the back seat? Go, let's go! You get down! Let's go! Let's go. go. <laughs> Unbelievable! Shit! It's her! Cut the bullshit! Okay. 
okay? Just please or calm what? down. Or what? Fuck you or what? You have routinely put us in harm's way every time. I'm done with it. You're done with it? Yes. You had your chance back at the ranch. We've got one in a net and the kingfish on the hook. Time to drop the hand before you get God damn it. I, I wish you would just leave your fucking cape in the goddamn trunk, you stubborn bitch. <laughs> yeah. Feel it? Burn these bitches. Stop, oh. right? I'm talking to you. I am truly fucking sick of this shit. For Giovanna? the top of the hour, and you're tuned in to the evening news. I'm hungry. Keep digging. You're bound to find something. I'm digging. What time you say it was? It's 2 o'clock, Tom. Now back to you. Already 2? Already 2. And yes, Tom, according to the polls, once again, it's 2 o'clock, and you're hungry. My name is Brown. Uh, Don't you find it a bit strange? Whenever I tell you the time, your reaction is, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Cut the shit, I'm Hungarian. We here at the station feel it's the public's right to be informed of this clock that determines hunger conspiracy. Cut the shit. No, reporting from the street, I see them well-behaved clock-watching civilians, the true machinery of the city. Brings back sad memories. Now, back to Tom. We haven't eaten since the butt crack of dawn. Quit talking like some idiot. Call it what you want. I call it old-fashioned, gut-wrenching hunger. And what's all this about memories? <laughs> back in the day, the salad days. Before that, Fateful call. Oof. I call you miss? I, I don't think a man get through life without getting the call. I never got any call. Consider yourself lucky. It's not just getting the call, it's answering the call. That's important. Ow, damn it! We're sending you now to Brown on the inside. With more of these recent events. There ain't nothing to eat in there. I'm feeling faint. Oh, we'll eat. Don't get carried away. We're gonna get back in the game, Brown. Back in the game. Come on, get out of here. I can eat the ass of a low-flying duck. How much money you got on you? Um, five bucks. Five bucks? You feel like getting a hot chocolate? Yeah, sure. Hmm, I feel like a cop. You're buying. I think I actually left that five at home. Back in again. Hey, help is on the way. Help, help. Hey, you two can't be out here loitering and harassing these good people. Don't be calling me no loiterer. I pick up and throw away any trash I see. According to local authorities, the homeless survey was reported as harassment. Survey? Yeah, a survey. 
Exactly what sort of a survey are the two of you conducting? That story and more will be coming up after this short break. Do you need some change? Would you like to borrow some money? Thank you. God bless. Hey, wh what sort of horse pucky is that? Now listen, guys, I'm not going to tell you again, but you, you're going to have. I'll be damned. <laughs> you, uh, you are, uh, huh. you're, what's his name? <laughs> wow. The best way to deal with ignorance is to recognize him. I used to watch you every night. So, and? Was I good? You were fantastic. Thanks. How in great goodness does it come to this? Hmm. It wasn't just one thing. He missed his call. I told you I did not miss my call. It has something to do with the science of cloning. The science of cloning. Yep, yeah, they're going to clone the big guy. I know how you feel I've been there, but now I'm back in the game. What's wrong with that cop? What? Why was he acting so strange, like he knew you were something? Uh, sometimes people mistake me for someone else. That'll be happening. No, then I'm back in the game. Uh, he said something about how he used to watch you. What's your story, dude? Ron, I'll tell you, you gotta start listening to what people don't say. It's the best way to stay focused. All I can focus on is my hunger. Ooh, yeah, that is style. Help us on the way. That's right, it's me. Hmm. We are now sending you live to the street where Tom has more. We apologize for our audio difficulty, but by the way things seem out here today, I believe we'll get a reminder. Reminder that I'm starving? Into the microphone, Tom. I will not talk into your fake microphone until you address me by my name. And the reminder I'm referring to, Mr. Brown, can be as simple as a sneeze. Just that something to remind people that they're still alive. Listen, I don't know what you're talking about or why you talk the way you do. What I do know is that guy, that cop, mm. and a couple others looked at you like they know you from someplace. And then you throw out the science of cloning? Who are you, dude? I'm not keen to why people look at me like they do, but I do know this. You are one observant little fellow who stopped to do a little thinking. My advice for that, don't forget to start up again. Well, what are we gonna do with this? Ooh, where did you get that? Well, you so cleverly had that big, dumb cop distracted. I took advantage of my position and kindly removed it from his holster. You dog, you dirty dog. Well, what are we going to do with it? Wake up, Brown, wake up. In the words of the great Howard Jones, ours is the age which is proud of machines that think and suspicious and who try to. So for Christ's sakes, man, Let's make them suspicious. Hmm? Hmm? Hey, yo, hey, yo. Hey, yo, hey, yo, what? Little man, step up. Do you trust these clowns? Not by the looks of them. Me neither. Yeah, where'd you get that lid, man? Oh, you mean this hat? They, uh, they were having a sale at Macy's. Oh. Not the answer I was looking for, little man. Chill out, homie. I, I just picked it out of that trash can. Over there. See? That can right there. Good enough. What's wrong? Did you see the paper today on the Vatican? How am I gonna explain that to my kid? Hey, Bob, did you shower today? Of course. Did you use soap? Uh, I used a lavender body splash from McGurkin's. 
Yeah, well, you smell like aquarium rocks. Hand me some wire, not the speaker wire. One full slice is all I need, and I'm good two days. What do you say we put that gun to good use? That's right, buddy. Witnesses claim the two entered the pizza joint where the little one pulled out the gun and held everyone up. While his counterpart grabbed two pizzas, one plain, one pepperoni. But then we'd be out of the game. And I hate pepperoni. That's why I got you the plane, man. We're live outside of First Union Bank, where two vagrants are holding 10 people hostage with a handgun. 30 squad cars and 10 helicopters await their hopeless getaway. Even worse. How about uh, we sell it to a gang? Gangs don't need guns. They're gangs because they already have guns. Got it. Well, that's fantastic. No, of course I'm in. Yes, she's my wife, but it's my art, and I, I don't have to check in with her about my acting career. <laughs> I look forward to it. Yeah. I'll see you then. Ah, <laughs> fine. Your dog can come in, but you two have to wait outside. <laughs> Good one, Shane. How's business? <laughs> oh, it's OK. It's like the weather, day to day. Yeah. Just checking up on our local proprietors, seeing how things are, that's all. Yeah, just seeing how things are. You two are acting kind of different today. Where's Marla? Oh, she's in the back. Why? Well, as a member of the same community as you. My business associate here and I were just a little worried what with all the problems out on the street. Just want to make sure you were feeling safe, secure. Out of harm's way? Yes. Good, yeah. And if so, what, what, what are you two going to do about it? Just want to make sure you, know, you, you had yourself some protection. Protection? Yeah. Steel, which were these? Where'd you two get a gun? Let's just say we're back in the game. What do you think? I don't know. Eight, I, ten clams? It's yours. Ten, huh? Some <clears throat> hey, Molly. This store smells nice. How about those Steelers? Cranberries. <laughs> what the hell are you three talking about? Cranberries. Yeah. Shit the cheese. I seem to have misplaced my firearm. Misplaced? I know that sounds strange, but I had it earlier. And now it's gone. Friend, it sounds like you need to be more astute. I'll, if I see anything, I'll be sure to report it to you. Thank you. I guess that's all I can ask. Yeah. Go back in an hour to collect? Ten bucks. As long as he doesn't give it back to that numbskull. Five each. Nicely done, Doke, if that's your name. What? 
You can uh, try and maneuver around it with your fuzzy logic, but I've seen it in there, and I've seen it out here. What? <laughs> Plus, I've noticed you talking kind of funny, like you're talking to someone that isn't there. Somebody I can't see. Have you ever watched television? What? Listen, if you'll answer, I'll explain. Have you ever watched television? I've looked at uh, television through the glass on its display. Well, not long ago, I was the anchor man for the local news. Anchor man? I was the host of the show. I reported the news or tried to... It was my face on the tube, delivering the stories of the day. Yes. John Simchek, Channel 7. You? 6 and 11. You were a celebrity? I wouldn't say that, but I was definitely in the game, and that's why some people stop and stare. They still notice this old face. How'd you end up on the curb? It started with that fateful call. That call you missed? Call I got changed my life. It was um, Tuesday night like any other when that phone rang. I knew I could trust the voice right away for no other reason except knew one of my most personal secrets, something I never shared with anyone. What could someone say that could convince you? She knew. I got my hair cut every 3,000 miles. What does that mean? Every time I got my car's oil changed every 3,000 miles, I got my hair cut. Dope, that's fucking weird. What's really weird is I'd never use the same garage with the same barber. Regardless, she let me know she knew this and more about me. It's enough to get my ear. It was explained to me that an underground movement had been in motion and was about ready to reach the mainstream. I, I guess I'd been profiled as I was told I was chosen, the one to deliver the news to the world. Hell, I already had the attention of quite a few people, a team composed of the top scientific and theological minds, obviously well-educated and extremely well-financed, whose first plan was to clone the prophet Jesus. Now, I've heard of cloning sheep, maybe even humans, but Jesus, I was completely sucked in. I guess they're gonna take DNA from the blood of the Shroud of Turin. That's the cloth they wrapped around his body when they buried him. It raises all kinds of questions. He's supposed to come again. Why not through cloning? Who knows? Maybe he's already here. Remember, this was years ago. On the day of the scheduled meeting, I tried. Believe me, I, I followed the instructions. I tried to be there on time. But everything that could possibly get in my way did. It's funny, a nod thing gets in your way when you're not in a hurry, and uh, that's no excuse. A few minutes, a guy's down a few minutes late. Who knows what I missed? Maybe all the information and proof I'd need? Maybe even the shroud itself, everything that I would need to bring to the world one of the most significant stories of Reproduction, the cloning of Jesus. But the plot didn't end there. They have plans to bring them all back. Muhammad, Siddhartha, Lao Tse, smash the line between science and religion so those people can figure out that science is a religion. Evolution, huh? <laughs> yeah. The Jews, the Christians, the Muslims, the Hindus. The Buddhists, Taoists, all slaves to time. People waiting, biding their time, yearning for a real experience, a true moment, free of this sunset routine we're locked into. Now, something's on its way to straighten out this damn mess, but. I missed my chance then, yeah, couldn't, couldn't get there. It's pretty much the beginning of the end for me. 
But for that, I'm a better human, a wiser man. Wow. You? You were on television. And now, I'm here with you. Back in the game. Come here. It looks like they've got it all under control. Reporting for Channel 7 News. I'm John Simchek. Now back to the studio. Have you ever bit the inside of your cheek? Oh, you wish to God it didn't happen. Steel, man. The big steel. Oh man, we're not Simon. What the deal? Man, home slice is walking down the wrong motherfucking block on the wrong day. Back up? Man, you know the dumbass WAP supposed to be testifying against Reggie and getting them sent to the pen. Man, get out of here. Ain't nobody move. Get off my ass, man. Oh, oh. He said oh. end this shit. It ain't worth it. He'll be cleared. If you two care to see him again, don't do this. Fucking brother Red, man. What you gonna do? Eddie, shut your mouth. Oh, what? I'll cut your balls off while you sleep. Don't so. Get in. And go upstate to get rent. Can't stay broke. Gotta get respect. Tipping off stacks like an architect. You getting tired of the city, but the city never rests. There's the dead man right there. This is for Reggie, motherfucker. Jammed up on it, man. Man, that Shit. fool ain't getting too far on foot, fool. Yeah, all right. Keep your head on. We gonna find him. Yeah, okay, okay. He's got to be the luckiest, dumbest pig alive. I mean, goddamn, man. Shit. Don't worry about it, man. I 
told you, man, he ain't getting nowhere. Fuck it. Shit, shit, shit. Man, be cool, man. What are them guns? Hey, hey, bro. Oh, shit. What's your ass doing back there? Don't shoot, man. Get your ass up from back there. Shamu, who the hell is this big little sister, huh? When'd you pick her up? Man, I ain't pick up nobody. Oh, shit, you, you, what the hell are you doing back there? Needed a ride. Needed a ride? They got taxis for that shit. My feet are sore. Yeah, and them swollen-ass feet almost got you capped. Now get your ass out this car. Shamu, what are you doing with those guns? You're not gonna shoot me, are you? Shit, I will. Ain't nobody gonna shoot you, few. You promise? Shoot, man. Hey, Shamu, we got to lose this shit, man. All right, man, look. Okay, look, Phil, what you gonna do is you gonna get out right here, go home and tell nobody about this, okay? About what? Just get your fat ass out the car! Just need a ride down to the corner. Shamu, we can't be carting this pork ass all around town. All right, man, look, we gonna ride down to the corner and you gonna get out and go home and say nothing about this, all right? Say nothing about what? All right. Steady knocking motherfuckers out. That's what it's all about. When it comes to the probably figure shit out. All on their own and opt to break out. Thought they was in the zone and then pound. Yes, sir. This hit the sound of the stars. Run a ring around the planets from Venus to Mars. And it's hard not to do Who are you looking for? Damn, see? Who are you looking for? A white devil little punk ass snitch wearing red lead, all right? Lid? Damn, nigga, red hat! Like the one on that munchkin? Yeah, just like the one on that munchkin. Hey, yo, hey, yo! Hey, yo, hey, yo, what? Little man, step up. I still trust these clowns. I don't know, but I guess. Me neither. Yo, where'd you get that lid? You mean my hat? Uh, they were having a sale at Macy's. Not the answer I was looking for, little man. Chill out, homie. I, I just picked it out of that trash can over there. That can right there. Good enough. Let's roll. Drop her fat ass off right here. No way. Give me a few more minutes. Ain't nothing good gonna come from a few more minutes. So who's Reggie? What? I heard you shout, this is for Reggie. Phew, how long you been living in the hood, huh? You don't know who Reggie is? Reggie's about to get a life sentence. Man, why the fuck are we spilling this? What'd he do? Nothing. All right, he didn't do nothing. And that cracker is planning to ID him in court. If he did nothing, why is he in court? Oprah, chill with the interrogation. Man, you don't need to know Reggie's side of the story. You just need to learn that in this world, your people stand up for their own. Was he guilty? Does it matter? So he was. And this guy you're chasing, he's a witness? Saw Reggie do it, and now Reggie's facing time. Yeah, snitching son of a bitch is walking around Reggie's neighborhood with a shit-eating grin on his face. Good as dead. Why is this guy supposed to know where Reggie lives? The dumb fucker better know where he lives if he's going to help put him behind bars. You have a bit the inside if you're cheap. Have you? I never bit the inside of my cheek? Not just bit, but accidentally chumped down on it really hard. What the 
What the hell are you talking about? Have you? Yeah. The pain's the worst. Yeah, yeah. Do you know that feeling? Right after you do it, that slow motion wishful feeling that it didn't just happen. You know what I'm talking about. Then comes the real shit. That life swelling, eye watering pain. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. There's no going back and reliving that moment. Or maybe just changing things a wee bit. Right, right. And the pain grows and spreads. And you squirm around. Oh, you wish to God it didn't happen. But it did. And now you have to live with it. But what really sucks is that this never happens on the last bite of your meal. So now the meal is ruined because your mouth is pulsing? And that sudden jolt of reality runs through your mind. This life will never allow you to go back and remove the pain. It's all there. We all got to learn from it. We all got to learn to move on. Yo, this shit is whack. We're all pushed ahead at the speed of pain. All of us, you, me, you, that guy you're after, no one alive can avoid it. Now look, I know you're pissed about Reggie, but don't deal with pain by inflicting more. Please, brothers, cause no more pain. Yo, this is all insightful and shit. But sometimes things just have to be finished. Well, thanks for setting me straight, but now I got myself a stomach ache. Meeting all that garbage. Well, I ain't gonna go shoot the guy who sold him to me. And do you know why? Oh, here the fuck she go again. Because I stole them candy bars. Stole them. And now I'm paying for it. They call that karma. What the fuck you know about karma? Not much, but I'm learning. Take him out, man. You hear me? In Reggie's pain. Please, brothers, cause no more pain.
Scam a little bit. Make sure he know we know. Are you able to pay for this? Apprehend second mark. She is elusive and dangerous. You're saying that she worked at the terminal for most of the day? Yeah, she was here from uh, one. Second mark is not present. Giovanna? Oh, uh, yeah. Is that you? It is. Oh, well then, this is for you. Thank you, dear. Right on time. Yeah, no worries. It's 
not a bomb. Your bike? This is my bike. Why? Here. You should have this. Thank you.
turtle 